everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday morning, I've pretty much just woken up um, and yes, this is actually what my hair looks like before anyone says anything um, when I wake up. My hair is actually like at its peak first thing in the morning when I get out of bed um, and then it gets like progressively worse <laughs> throughout the day. I don't know if anyone else finds this, it's not just my hair, I feel like my skin and everything looks so nice when I wake up and just throughout the day I end up looking like more just not as fresh. <laughs> anyway, I thought this week we would do a spend the weekend with me because you guys really loved my video last week when I spent the week with you just like organizing my life, getting myself back in the swing of things um, for the new year. Um, I have like a really nice chilled weekend. Um, like I said last time, this time of year is quite quiet for me, like work wise and events, there's not like a lot going on, which I absolutely love and I really like to make the most of it. So yeah, that's what this week's video is going to be. So, so to start the day, I'm actually going to be going to the gym this morning. I have worked out three times already this week, which is very unlike me. Like normally I would fit in maybe one or two, maybe three on a really good week. Um, but I am going to Dubai in a few days and I just want to feel good. And today I'm just going to do something a bit more chilled because I've done like some weight training this week and I'm really, really aching. Honestly, like my, every muscle in my body is aching right now. So today I'm going to go and do like a Pilates. It's like a Pilates and stretch class. Um, which I think will be really nice, um, just nice and chilled, but I'm still moving, stretch out some of these muscles, um, and I just think it will be a good, productive start to the weekend. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put you guys there and do my skincare routine. It's like a Vogue video. Um, so yeah, to begin with, I'm gonna cleanse my face. This is the Laura Mercier Balancing Foaming Cleanser. It kind of gives you that like squeaky clean feeling, which it kind of makes your skin feel a bit tight afterwards because it's like really clean, but then you just have to, you know, moisturize. Okay, I'm just gonna wash that off. Also, look how cute this clip is. I just got it from H&M. Look, they also sent me this cute like Laura Mercier flannel which I thought was really cute. Now you can see my um, blemishes now I've cleansed because the spot cream has come off. Okay, so now for toner, I'm using my rose petal toner from Fresh, which is so nice. Honestly, like anything with rose petals in is just so good for your skin, so softening. Um, so I'm just using that on my reusable cotton pad. So next is my serum and I'm using the Aveda Instant Luminizer serum it looks like i haven't used it it's just because it's been upside down um it's so nice it literally like looks pearlescent um when you get it out of the bottle oh and it just gives your skin a super radiant look um and it's really hydrating as well i only started using this moisturizer um a couple of days ago but i love it so much it's the elemis superfood glow priming moisturizer and this as well literally is like a rose pearl i'm really into radiant products at the moment as you can tell actually i always have been that's a lie um but yeah mm, it smells so nice too next of course is spf which is about to make me look even whiter than i already do um this is the liquid sun shield by dr brandt um, and it's spf 50 which is really good and i do put this on like every day except maybe if it's a super dull cloudy day and i'm not leaving the house then maybe i would skip it on a day like that but for the most part i put it on every day um because you know, I don't want to get wrinkles. Then I just put a little bit on my neck as well and also on the backs of my hands. So obviously I don't put on like a lot of makeup to go to the gym, but I do like to look, you know, semi-presentable, especially as my face is about three or four shades lighter than the rest of my body. Um, so I always put on some of the Charlotte Tilbury Unisex Healthy Glow. It's like this weird gray um, kind of moisturizer that like adapts to your skin tone and just gives you a little bit of color which is literally perfect, like it just ends up matching my body, which is so perfect because it doesn't like feel like you're wearing any makeup. Um, it's really lightweight and if I sweat, it's not gonna be a big deal, but it just like matches my face up with my body a bit. And then I also usually just pop a little bit of concealer on, um, especially recently because I've got like this horrible skin thing um, under my eyes, like right here either side where the skin goes like really red. Um, and I've got some like special cream for it, but it's not really working. And I know I probably shouldn't be putting makeup on over it, but to be honest, it just makes me feel kind of self-conscious, so I do. And then finally, just a generous 
helping of Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Lip Oil. I've put this on already this morning, but my lips just get so dry in winter. So that's me done. I'm gonna go now pop my gym kit on and get some breakfast. Here is my gym kit. I pretty much always either wear um, aloe yoga leggings um, or Victoria's Secret. They just have a really nice fit and they're really flattering and comfortable. And then my little um, like crop top is also from aloe yoga. And then I'm gonna put my Mickey Mouse hoodie on today. Normally I go in like my black Victoria's Secret hoodie. Um, I go like black and pink, but I'm just feeling like Mickey Mouse today. So I literally make the same thing for breakfast every morning. I'm so boring and like such a creature of habit. I just make this um, protein shake in the morning. It's inspired by the choco shake at Joe and the Juice, which is so good. So I just put in one banana and some almond milk, the sweetened one, obviously. A spoonful um, of chocolate protein powder. And that's literally it, like it's so so quick and I never really like have a huge appetite in the morning but this kind of keeps me full um, until lunchtime, which is good. Just put in the Nutribullet and serve. Cheers. gym um it was actually a really good class it was harder than i thought it would be i thought that it would be a lot more chilled but at the end she did a really nice like five minute cool down relaxation and she told us to lie there and close our eyes and think about all the things that we are grateful for which i thought was really nice and a really lovely way to start the weekend so yeah i just got back had a quick shower i was wondering whether to wash my hair or not because to be honest guys it's not clean but I do need to wash it in like two days before I go away. So I decided basically just to ride it out with dry shampoo the next couple of days. And as you can see, I've also popped on some makeup because basically right now I have to try on some outfits. And I don't know about you guys, my mum is the same as me. It's really pathetic, but like, I honestly can't tell if I like clothes or not if I don't feel nice, like my hair and makeup isn't done. If my hair and makeup isn't done and I'm feeling ugly, I will not like any clothes. I'll hate everything. So in order to give the clothes a fair try, I had to, you know, make myself look nice. Okay, so as you guys know, because I've literally told you a hundred times, I'm going to Dubai in a few days and I need to start packing this weekend and yeah I've ordered some new outfits you will have seen in my video last week I was looking at Zimmerman dresses I ended up ordering three these three here with the intention of just keeping one there's also a Zimmerman skirt there as well which is amazing um so I kind of just need to try on everything that I've ordered today um to work out which one I want to keep um there's a few extras as well that aren't Zimmerman there's some stuff from Karen Millen actually they had loads of things that were like really in the style that I wanted for this trip um so yeah I'm gonna try on some of these dresses and maybe you guys can help me decide okay guys here is dress number one I I love it so much it's actually perfect like this was my favorite one off the body um and this is just so so pretty it just fits like a glove um i usually wear a size one in zimmerman in case anyone is wondering look at the sleeves the sleeves are magnificent and then it's also got this really beautiful little like bow tie um which is like connected to the back the neck of the dress and in the photo like she's wearing it like this um, but you don't have to wear the bow if you don't like the bow um you can detach it and just have it like kind of this v neckline but it's so nice i just think with some like brown sandals and my Chloe bag. Let me get the Chloe bag. Oh my gosh, guys, look how cute it looks with the two Chloe bags. This is the C by Chloe Tony bucket bag, and this is the Chloe Tess, and they both look so nice with this dress. Like, they both just go so perfectly, so um, if I keep this dress, I'll definitely take both bags, because I'll never be able to choose. Um, this dress is gonna be hard to beat, I'm just saying. 
Oh my gosh. Honestly, they, they are so unfair. Why do they make so many beautiful dresses? This is to die for. I do love it. I really, really love it. I just feel like the other one is more me. Like I have more of a, like a gasp feeling with the other one. This is so stunning. Like the color and the florals and the sleeves and the buttons and the bow. Guys, look at every last detail. It's perfection. Um, but if I was going to pick, I probably would still pick the other one. What do you guys think? It's so gorgeous. Honestly, if I could, I would buy them all. Okay, guys, dress number three. It's so, so gorgeous. Like, I really love it, but it's a bit weird because I kind of feel like it's too big, but then I'm not sure if that's just how it's supposed to fit. Basically, it's kind of like a top and skirt that's connected at the front, but it's um, not connected at the back. And I always just feel like I've tried a Zimmerman dress on in this style before, and I kind of felt the same way that like it was a bit loose. I love the colours. It's like this peachy, it's like a peach basically. It's kind of a pinky orange with these gorgeous like lilac, I guess it's wisteria actually, um, which is such a gorgeous combination. Not two colours I ever wear. So what do you guys think? I think out of the three, the first one is still my favourite. This is actually coming in second. I prefer this to the um, pink one. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot believe it. I honestly just like lay down on my bed for a bit um, after trying the clothes on and I was just like on my phone um, scrolling and that kind of thing. And I must have fallen asleep because I've woken up and it's dark. I mean, it gets dark really early now. I don't just hate these winter days. Like it just feels so late. Um, but yeah, I just must have had a nap. I didn't have a very good sleep last night. I kept on waking up during the night um, and I got to bed really late last night as well. So clearly I just needed a little nap. I've also just realized that I didn't eat lunch today. I'm absolutely starving hungry. So I'm going to get dressed because I'm literally still just in my dressing gown. I don't have any clothes on. You know, sometimes it's the small things that bring you joy. And this is one of mine. <laughs> Don't mind the negative COVID test there, just checking. Oh my God, does anyone else get so anxious doing those tests? Okay, I thought I'd just prop you guys there um, whilst I do some laptop stuff. By the way, oh my gosh, the new laptop is sensational. I'm so, so happy with it. Honestly, like I hate change and I put off like getting a laptop for so long, even though I knew mine was like on its last legs. And like every change I ever make that I'm scared to make, I was really happy when I'd done it. So there's a good life lesson for me mainly, but maybe for you too. <laughs> okay, so the things I want to do this evening is first of all, order a couple of the things that I need for the flat because I know you guys are getting really like anxious for me to do a finished flat tour because it's been ages and I really want to do it, but it's just not quite there yet. It just needs some finishing touches. Um, so I want to get that done. And I also really need to make a start on planning like the vision board and everything for the bathroom and start like getting things in place, like some links and everything um, all in one document. Um, I find like doing it on pages or something um, really helps or just Pinterest. So I want to do that because I really like to try and get that bathroom in motion before the spring um, and things take ages. So it's always better to start early. I also want to try and have a look at some things to do in Dubai because we're not there for very long. So I feel like we just need to plan everything before so we're not like wasting time wondering what to do and when, when we get there. Um, so I want to do a little bit of planning on that. And on top of that, I of course have to edit this video because it's Saturday today. This video is going up on Monday, so I will make a start on the edit this evening. Um, so quite a few things to get through, but I'm pretty much going to be plonked here for the rest of the evening. So I think I'll say goodbye for tonight um, and catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Will I ever get out of bed this morning? That is the question. Oh my gosh, sorry. Can we just appreciate my hair when I take it out of its bun that it's been in all night? It's Oh my god, it's huge. It doesn't stay like this, unfortunately. Um, oh my god, it's like a mane. I'm really struggling to find the will to get out of bed this morning. It's so cold outside. It's like three degrees and my bed is so warm. I've got my heated blanket on, which has honestly been life-changing, guys. Get a heated blanket. It's amazing. I could not live without it now. Um, but I really need to get up because I've had a really nice long lie-in. Um, 
but I've got loads of stuff to do today and I am starving. Oh my gosh, I just had the best surprise. This has literally made my week. Um, basically, I have a milkman, like I get milk delivered. And the only reason I do is purely for the orange juice, because I'm telling you, this orange juice is the yummiest, like freshest thing I've ever tasted. It's, it's amazing. No other orange juice compares to this. So I order like two bottles a week with some milk um, and I completely forgot that I'd put almond croissants on the order for today. Like I literally hardly ever do. I don't know why I did. I was obviously just feeling like I should treat myself. Um, I'm not gonna eat both, but they are delicious. And that is my breakfast sorted. That is such a nice surprise. OJ and an almond croissant, oh my God. I don't think you're ready for this OJ. I don't think you're ready for this OJ. Oh my God. That is exciting. And a croissant on my little butterfly plate. Which one should I have? I'm gonna have this one because it's the bigger one. Mwah! Delightful. Okay, so it's very much established that today I need to pack, or at least I need to begin packing. And I honestly feel like I'm gonna have to command the whole of the lounge floor for this. Um, because I'm going big like I'm not going for very long but this is my first trip in two years and I just want to take everything we've got three suitcases all together like between me and JJ on our booking and um, he only wants one so um, I get two which is great so I'm gonna get my suitcase out from my little like lofty cupboard which should be interesting because it's the first time I've done it um, and I think it's quite hard to do so I need to get my suitcase out and I'm literally just gonna put all of my outfits on the floor in front of me so I can see exactly what I want to take. So said suitcase cupboard very much up here, very much need a step ladder. Um, and my dad told me that if I knock this light, then it will probably break. So this should be interesting. And um, there's also so many things in the dressing room that like hadn't been used in so long. Um, so I'm gonna like do a little raid of my dressing room. Like for example, are the pink Gucci sandals coming with me to Dubai? Obviously. I feel like I should definitely be utilizing the Lillian Bean tote as like a beach bag or maybe my um, plain bag. What do you guys think? This is obviously um, the dupe for the Dior one, but it's a really good dupe. Um, so yeah, I haven't used this yet. I'm very excited. <sighs> okay, suitcase. Wish me luck. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh no, this isn't so bad. Is it? I don't know. Oh my God. No, I won't come out. I think I must have put it in sideways and then tipped it when it was in there. I think that's what's happened because this is very difficult. Ah! You could do it, suitcase! Oh my gosh, the suitcase that has not seen the light of day for two years is out. Ready to be packed. Okay, what could I take from this wardrobe? I feel like this would be perfect, this Zimmerman dress, but it's very iconic to the last, to the Marrakesh trip, you know? maybe not Dubai, um, this would be nice. This could be nice, I'll take the Leo and Lynn. I love this dress. Maybe this one, maybe this dress that I wore to the Lion King premiere, because I've only ever worn it once and it is literally stunning. So maybe for the evenings. This is very Marrakesh. Um, I don't feel like these two are very Dubai. Ooh, this Leo and Lynn dress, they actually sent this to me um, in the winter and I was like, I don't have anywhere to wear that right now. Um, so I'm gonna take this, look how cute it is. Definitely this, this will be so nice. Um, in the evenings, my little share dress from Zara that I haven't had the chance to wear yet. So yes, definitely taking this. Okay, so I did just get a little bit distracted, as always, um, but I've laid out a bunch of outfits. Um, I know it looks like a lot, but remember guys, like I do also shoot content when I'm on holiday, so I always take like a few spare outfits um, than I actually need. Um, and I think this is a really good selection. I've got like one beach dress, because I don't think I'm gonna be spending that much time like on the beach, um, maybe like one day or one afternoon or something. I really want to do um, a desert safari. Hopefully I can make that happen. So I have like a safari outfit here because I've been on a like safari before, a de desert safari, and my clothes got so, so dirty. So I don't exactly want to wear like the Zimmerman shorts on a safari, you know? I'm gonna take a couple of jackets because everyone's told me that um, it can get quite chilly in the evening and also like everywhere has aircon on full blast. 
so it's actually really cold i've been there with la like took loads of summer clothes and actually ended up being freezing the whole time so i'm gonna take my zara blazer because i've never worn it yet as you can see the tag is still in and i think this will be really nice and i'm also going to take my abercrombie blanket cape because i actually feel like this is perfect something really nice and cozy that can just throw on and look really chic and glamorous but it will go with everything because it's white um so i think this is going to be perfect to take i have a selection of blouses which i think will all work really well um from like day to night and i'll obviously take my zimmerman shorts and the um, long trousers so I can like mix and match all of those and then these are the dresses I was thinking of taking so obviously the new Zimmerman which I'm so excited about also this beautiful dress by Leo and Lynn and um, that they gifted to me but it was like in the middle of winter I had nowhere to wear it but I just love it I think it's so unique um this one is from in the style uh which I haven't really worn because it's quite over the top but I feel like in Dubai you can go over the top i don't know um my little zara dress that i've never worn and also this leo and lynn dress which i did get a lot of wear out of um just the past summer but i really love it and i feel like it's a good dress for when you're not sure on the temperature when you're kind of like in between hot and cool um so i don't know if i need any more i'm just gonna see i think how this packs um and see if i can squeeze any more in i feel like the only thing i'm really lacking is something like super dressy you know like a really glam evening dress but then i'm not sure if we're gonna do anything like that requires a glam evening dress but maybe it is good um just to take one anyway i've got this one from coast that i could take um which is really really cute it has like a little high neck like a halter neck um and then it has feathers and a really nice like big bow at the back you can tighten a big bow i actually think that's perfect i'm definitely gonna pack that okay so i need to do bags and shoes next um this is where i feel like my suitcase is going to get really full um and i was talking to jojo actually and we might not need three suitcases because he says that his case it's a really big one like mine in fact it's the same one and his is only half full so we might get away with only having two suitcases which would be perfect um so i'm gonna try and not go too wild on the bags and shoes but you never know with me oh my god i'm actually incapable of packing light I don't know what's wrong with me. I just get like nervous that I'm not going to have enough options. I do think I need to whistle the shoes down though because that's a bit ridiculous. How many pairs are there? Ten. Ten pairs of shoes. It's a bit, a bit excessive, isn't it? God, they just all serve a purpose. I feel like I need two pairs of flats just to go with different outfits. Um, the Gucci shoes just because they're so much fun and I don't get enough wear out of them. The Jimmy shoes I think I'll definitely take because just to have one like really glam evening shoe. Um, these Tory Burch shoes again like I got them kind of late summer so I didn't really get much chance to wear them and they will be really easy to walk in. I think these definitely have to come. The Valentinos I really feel have to go as well because they're just like perfect summer shoes. They just go with everything. They add a touch of glam, easy to walk in. The end other stories like strappy sandals, same thing. The misguided mules, I really love. They go with everything again, easy to walk in and I'm not like super precious about them, which is good. And also the and other stories, strappy sandals, I just think would look so cute with so many of these outfits. Do you see the problem? They're all so good. Like I really feel like I have to take them all. <laughs> I don't know what to do. And then bags, I was actually a bit more reserved with the bag choice. Um, I'm definitely going to be taking the Prada tote. Where is my pink Prada tote? Because I just feel like this is a holiday bag um, and it's so much fun really good daytime bag also um, the Chloe test because it will just go with all of these outfits beyond perfectly and it can also go from day to night which is good this Tony bucket bag from C by Chloe again is a must it's like safari it's desert it just goes so well with the style of outfits that I'm taking um, and then I thought I'll obviously take my Chanel bag as more of like the glam evening bag. And then I'm definitely taking the tote because this will be so good for like if we go to the beach, but also um, just to carry around like my camera and stuff because when I'm out like shooting content, um, I have like my camera and everything and JJ will probably carry it for me. But um, yeah, I think that will be a really good bag for that because it's pretty much the perfect size. So obviously because I'm me, I've made a list of the rest of the things I need to pack. And honestly guys, it's been so long. I didn't even know what I should pack. I actually had to get my own video up. <laughs> I actually had to watch my own video to remember what to actually take on holiday. Um, yeah, 
It's a good video actually if you're going on holiday anywhere. So I'm gonna get on with the rest of that packing. I'm not gonna film it because it's seriously slowing me down and I'm freaking out because I'm running out of time. But I will check back in with you guys um, in a couple of hours when hopefully it's mostly done. Okay, so I've laid out all of my products that I want to take and this is actually really restrained for me. I'm quite proud of myself. There probably will be more things I'll need to add to this, um, like shampoo and conditioner. But um, for the most part, this is it. Look at the skincare. I'm sorry, but how satisfying is that? It's like the most petite selection of skincare ever. It's because I've used all like really small mini products. That's really satisfying. Um, perfume and like body stuff. I've got this after sun, my Nooks oil. Um, and I'm going to take three perfumes because you just never know what you're going to be in the mood for. Um, and then I also take like a bunch of like medicine, my contact lenses, my inhalers, um, painkillers uh ibs relief tablets just in case you know eat something dodgy um and hair stuff as well so i'm really pleased with this like i thought that i was going to take a lot more but this is quite reserved and then i'm going to put them in my lovely elizabeth scarlet um pouches and also um my bricks one i can also tick off the jewelry from my list which is great i've really actually overpacked jewelry but you know it's just nice to have options all it takes is this little case um all of my jewelry cases by the way are from stack because look how handy this is there's like a ring an earring um pouch and little compartments for everything and it's just so so easy so done all my jewelry okay so i've got like most of my stuff together now um it's just about actually folding everything putting it in the case um figuring out where i need to um cut down but then i also do have half of jj's suitcase as well which um he's coming tomorrow so i'll be able to figure out what can go in his case as well i'm really optimistic that we'll only have to take two though oh my gosh guys i have just had an actual emotional roller coaster for the past two hours i haven't vlogged or anything i'm not gonna like go into it because it's not even a thing and also i don't want to jinx anything but you know when you're like trying to make something happen and you kind of get your hopes up and then they got crushed um and i felt really devastated and then all of a sudden i'm back on track so um hopefully if this endeavor is successful then you will find out like fairly soon if not um i'm gonna keep trying so um yeah i'm just feeling exhausted to be honest i'm really bored of packing so i think i'm actually just gonna give it a rest i'm still not going for like another two days so i have time tomorrow to finish off packing um i just want to just give my skin some love it's just feeling a bit like oh, i don't know it's just feeling a bit dry so um it's probably because i've had the heating on like all day because it's freezing so i'm just going to do a nice little bit of skincare um maybe a mask um and then maybe just try and chill out for the rest of the evening this is the um nighttime cleanser that i'm using at the moment it's from bliss and it's called makeup melt and i i don't know i'm not loving it like i don't dislike it I'm not like absolutely loving it at the moment. It's just a bit, I don't know, it's a bit boring. Oh my God, you know when you just feel drained? That is me right now. This cleanser is really weird because you don't really feel like it's gonna do the trick, but then look at everything that comes off. It's actually quite good. Um, I also like need to fake tan my face because look at the shade comparison. Um, but actually I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow because I'm gonna like fake tan my whole body. More rose water. I used my last reusable cotton pad this morning, so I have to put them in the wash. Um, so this is just a regular cotton pad. Honestly, this toner, it's just everything. I'm gonna use my Origins mask because this one is my favorite. I'm kind of coming to the end of it now. It's lasted me so long. Um, it just really makes your skin feel good and it's nice to do like before I tan because if I used this um, with fake tan on my face it might kind of strip it off a little bit because it's like a retexturizing mask oh sometimes you do just need to pamper yourself and i kind of don't really feel like a healthy meal tonight you know like sometimes you're just not in the mood i'm in the mood for comfort food i'm obviously fine like literally nothing bad has happened i'm just feeling a little fraught if that makes sense like whew, i don't know that's how i'm feeling right now just a bit like on edge i need to chill out seriously this is good holiday prep actually. I might do a hair mask tomorrow when I wash my hair. I might do an Olaplex. Okay, I'm going to leave this on for a little while. Try and wind down. 
Okay guys, I'm going to say goodnight to you now because once I've finished folding up all of those clothes, made myself some food, um, I've got to sit down and edit this video so it's ready for you guys to watch tomorrow evening. So I hope you enjoyed spending the weekend with me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching as always and I'll see you all next week. Bye!